This is an example of a central venous catheter. It's composed of a part that goes inside the patient's body as, the part, as well as the parts that sit outside the patient. These are lumens. This is the way a clinical provider would access a patient's blood for laboratory tests or administering medications. There are five causes of central line associated bloodstream infections, but the vast majority of people believe that it's really down to two now, that the other three don't occur frequently enough to warrant intervention or to be able to cause many bloodstream infections. And the first one is the point at which the central venous catheter goes from the outside world, the lumens, to the inside world, the patient. And this is the point in the skin where the lumen, the, the central venous catheter enters the body. What it does is it actually sits on the catheter hub when that catheter is not being actively used or accessed. So there's no IV that's being administered through this hub and no one is coming in to administer a medication or pull off a lab draw. This sits there and allows it to sit against the patient's skin while it's continuously bathed in an antiseptic agent of 70% alcohol and forms a uh, physical or mechanical barrier between the outside environment and the patient's catheter hub. The nice thing is, is that it, while it sits there, if a healthcare provider comes in to access the line, if they know that this is being used universally throughout the hospital and they don't happen to see this sitting there, in other words, they come in to administer a drug and they see the, ha the hub sitting there by itself, they know that there's something wrong because every other time that they've gone in to administer a drug or, or uh, pull off a, a specimen, that this has been sitting there. So it's a visual reminder as well as acting as a physical and chemical barrier between the outside environment and the patient's bloodstream. This was warmly received because number one, it actually eliminates a step for them. They don't have to sit there and scrub the catheter hub for 15 seconds before accessing the line. Number two, they thought that it, it made good sense because it sits there and it actively keeps the, the line protected even when they're not in the room. So it was well received by the staff and actually when we came to take the device away during phase three at one of the hospitals, it wasn't very warmly received and there was lots of concerns because people had seen the reduction in bloodstream infections and they thought if we took this device away even for a short period of time that their infection rate would increase.